Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome to your You Versus Them reading. This is the Dream Clairvoyant. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. I do hope you're all doing well, feeling safe, and feeling blessed because you are. So, You Versus Them, we pretty much do an analysis of two people, okay? Usually I'll say person A versus person B or soulmate A versus soulmate B. Of course, my readings could be love related, family, friends related, work related. So definitely take it how it resonates. But as always, please use discernment. All right. Um, and yeah, remember that the cards represents energies that any gender can embody. Okay. Remember, we both carry, we all carry both masculine and feminine energies. So don't let me sing here, she throw you off. The deck consists of kings, queens, knights, pages, emperor, and empress. All right, let's pull out some messages, some guidance messages for you. We're using the Crystal Angels Oracle deck. Holy Spirit, thank you for guiding us. All right. what your message is guidance message oh you have two okay all right so you have balancing masculine and feminine energies Allow your feminine side to creativ to creatively inspire you and your masculine side to give you confidence. Like I said, we all carry both masculine and feminine energies. What a perfect card to confirm that. Allow your feminine side to creatively inspire you and your masculine side to give you confidence. Then we have, I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but it says ready to love again. You've healed from the past enough to open your heart to new love. Okay, so let's do an analysis of person A. What do we need to know about person A? Person A, person A, person A. What do we need to know about person A? All right, Eight of Cups. What do we need to know about person A? I want us to do two cards. What do we need to know about person A? So we have the Six of Cups, all right? Let's do person B. What do we need to know about person B? What do we need to know about person B? What do we need to know about person B? Nine of Pentacles. What do we need to know about person B? All right, Four of Swords. Very interesting, very interesting. All right, Person A, Person B. Clarify the Eight of Cups, clarify the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups typically talks about walking away from an investment, okay? Something that, you, that Person A put a lot of time, love, effort into. And now they're having to go towards something different, perhaps something better. Clarify the Eight of Cups. Clarify the Eight of Cups. Clarify the Eight of Cups. The Empress. Oh, okay. Person A, you are, I'm going to say you as if I'm talking to person A. So if you're person B, you just sit back and listen. So you can understand person A, but person A, I'm looking here at the, you know, just looking at the eight of cups and the six of cups, it's like you're walking, you're leaving, you're leaving something behind that you really did invest your time in and you're going to reunite with someone like there is whoever it is that you're going to, whoever it is that you're heading towards, you have some sort of familiarity with them. Even if this is not someone from your past, whether it's someone from your past or new love, there's a reason why you've chosen to leave, you know, everything behind because you're familiar with this person. There's some sort of history or familiarity here between uh, the two of you. So it's like you're leaving something behind to reunite with another individual. Okay, 
And even if this is a new love, let's say this is new love who you want to see again, there's this familiarity there between the two of you. That's what has given you the, the, the courage to leave the past behind. Wow. I feel like I just heard big changes. So I feel like person A, you have made really, really, you could even be moving. Maybe you're moving from an area that you lived in for a long time. And you're relocating elsewhere. I'm even looking at the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands could represent someone who's like migrating, or should I say immigrating, relocating. It's a big action card. But you know, this could be you physically moving from one location to another location to see someone again. That's just what I'm saying. If you're not physically moving, it's you emotionally severing ties with something that you spent a lot of time into, lots of investments were made because you're trying to see someone again. You're trying to reunite with another person, okay? The Empress. You're sitting here as the Empress. I feel like you're doing what's best for you. Regardless of your gender, when you carry the Empress energy, it's someone who, who takes very good care of themselves, someone who's prioritizing themselves, right? Someone who's really living, doing their best to live a healthy lifestyle. The Empress is also someone who's very kind, nurturing, empathetic. The Empress is just, it's a beautiful energy to carry. It's a beautiful, it's the most powerful feminine energy that a person can carry. Um, and the Empress is known to be very creative, very artistic, abundant, wise. So I just, I feel like you're so ready for this. It's like a big move that you're about to make, whether you're physically leaving something behind to go towards, you know, something else or someone else, or this is just you emotionally leaving the past behind, leaving something that you spend a lot of time, love and effort into because your interest is somewhere else or you're, you're interested in another person, okay? Um, whether this is someone that you have a past history with or this is a new love that you just can't wait to see again, you know? Um, so take it how it resonates, but I feel like with the Empress, you've just been really prioritizing your well-being and you're doing what makes you happy. And you may even be in a very like creative artistic mode, you know, um, the tower, the tower is like a big shakeup, something here, something very dramatic happened in your life. Maybe something even ended, clarify, like you look at this, the three of wands, person A, it's like, you just can't wait to make this big move. You know that this is where you're meant to be. Clarify the tower. Let me see. The world. Clarify the tower. The six of swords. Clarify the tower. Let me see. The ace of cups. Huh. Yeah, the world is completion. Something here ended in your life and you were the one who initiated this ending. And you know, the world represents a successful completion. Because you've successfully completed this chapter of your life, you get to step into a new, a new beginning, a new chapter. The world represents positive results, desirable outcomes. It's success. You know, so it's like, congratulations. You were able to really make the initiative to make these necessary, powerful, and positive changes in your life so that things can start moving forward for you, person A. You have the six of uh, the six of swords. It's a smooth transition. I, I always say moving things from rough waters to calmer waters. And look at this. You have the ace of cups. The ace of cups talks about uh, new, it, it's, it's, it's something new, whether it's new love, new beginnings, new job, new friendships, it's new, it's refreshing, it's rejuvenating. Look at how the water's overflowing from the cup and the heart. It's, it's new and it's going to be very emotionally fulfilling. I feel like you're just so excited. You're so excited. And I feel like there's a special person that you have been anticipating to see, like, this is just amazing. You can't wait. The Knight of Swords is a swift action taker. And the Knight of Swords is someone who likes to seize opportunities. I feel like everything about this movement, whether it's a it's a spiritual, it's you spiritually moving forward or physically, you know, moving or emotionally moving. It's like, there's so much passion here. There's so much passion. And you just can't wait to for that opportunity to 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 come up so that you can take it. 
Um, clarify this Ace of Cups here. Clarify the Ace of Cups. Because I feel like you're tunnel vision on someone who you really want to see again. I literally just heard soon. <laughs> it's you, someone who you can't wait to see soon. Let me see. Four of Cups. Clarify the Ace of Cups. You have the Magician. Very interesting because... Clarify this Ace of Cups. Hmm. The Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like you've just, like, this Ace of Cups, you have so much passion for it. And it's like you, 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 you got your spark back, you know, like you, you you're in action mode again. You, you feel so, so passionate and driven and determined and, and just very optimistic and, and charismatic you you feel lively again and and it's because i feel someone here really has sparked your interest and i feel like before before receiving this ace of cups this new blessing here um that's going to make you really happy before receiving it you were in this four of cups energy where you were just feeling so down. Maybe you were feeling left out in the cold or rejected or you were rejecting people, places and things. You felt so unfulfilled. You're a little bit grumpy. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> you just weren't you just weren't optimistic. You know, I feel like you just wanted to be left alone. Is what I heard. You just wanted to be left alone. You weren't interested in any person, place or thing until until this tower moment happened and you move things forward and then boom, you saw your Ace of Cups. And I feel like it's a new person. It's a new person that you have a lot of feelings for already. Yeah, the Magician card is here. You didn't realize the whole time you were sitting there being grumpy and dissatisfied, you were actually manifesting. The Magician manifests. And boom, that person came out of nowhere. Maybe when you saw your love interest, you were like, where did they come from? And you didn't realize when you were rejecting those people, places, and things, it wasn't bad that you were doing that because you were you rejected the things, the people, places, or things that were less than what you deserved. So you, you know, I feel like you had high expectations and you just weren't interested in those other people, places, or things. So when you rejected them, you kept on manifesting your ideal person to come into your life and indeed, they did. The Ten of Pentacles is here. Ten of Pentacles is is an ideal life, an ideal relationship. Um, so it's a good thing that you didn't settle, you know, and that you didn't take the things that you knew, you know, just weren't good enough for you. OK, it's because, you know, your worth. And um, it's so funny because I'm like when you were sitting there being grumpy and unfulfilled, you were actually manifesting in a way you were spiritually manifesting your ideal, your real partner to come in. And I feel like they did. That's why you're so excited. There's some sort of move that you just can't wait to make so that you can see this person again is really how it's feeling. Um, and then you have the Knight of Wands that's here. The Knight of Wands, the Knight of Wands is someone who's on a passionate pursuit. Clarify the Knight of Wands. Let me see. Three of Wands. Clarify the Knight, the Knight of Wands. The Lovers. Clarify the Knight of Wands. King of Pentacles. Hmm. Yeah, there is someone just, there is someone here that you are so passionate for and it's so, it's so beautiful to see and it's so cute as well. Like, you've just been anticipating meeting this person. I mean, the three of wands waiting for your ships to sail in, right? Waiting for that, waiting for that moment where you see them again. And I feel like when you do, you're going to pursue them with a whole lot of passion. Knight of Wands could be someone who's very flirtatious. You have the lover's card. You feel this soulmate bond. You may even feel like this inner, this inner belonging with this person. You may feel like you belong, you know, you belong with this individual. Um, there's a soulmate connection here. Indeed. 
You have the king of pentacles that's here. You may even be ready to settle down and just live a very stable, secure, and well-grounded life. You know, king of pentacles loves the traditional, traditional commitments. Clarify this king of pentacles. You have the fool card. Wow. Yeah, you're ready. You're ready to start this new beginning, like the Fool card. Starting, it represents going towards a new beginning, you know, taking that leap of faith into a new beginning. And look, the death. Major endings that lead to transformation. So all of this, all of this really does, um, really does make sense, person A. And I'm very happy for you in this smooth transition in your life. I feel like you're going to be extremely happy. Let's look at the Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles, Four of Swords. So this is person, this is, um, this is person B, okay? All right. Tell us about the Nine of Pentacles, Four of Swords. Clarify the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles, person B is over here, very single, is what I'm seeing here. Maybe this person, the singlehood is really getting to them. Maybe they're feeling a little bit bored. Um, I feel like with the Nine of Pentacles is typically someone who's very successful, well-established. You know, they really have their life together. Um, single, self-sufficient, independent. Clarify the Nine of Pentacles, the Emperor. This is really interesting because... Person A came out as the emperor, as the empress, and now, oh my gosh, now person B is coming out as the emperor. And please know, you can, you know, we all carry both masculine and feminine energies regardless of our gender. So person uh, person A could be a woman who, who is that empress energy or could be a man who is embodying his divine feminine energy, you know? Um, and then you have person B here who is the emperor. This could be, this could be a male who's carrying this energy, or it could be a woman who's carrying the energy. It just depends on what's happening in our lives. It makes sense that person A came out as an empress because this is someone who is really feeling abundant. Like they manifested their ideal partner and they, you know, they were able to see that manifestation come to, come to life. And maybe this is someone who is in in that creative a uh, creativity mode where they're creating and you know maybe they're just very artistic and they're learning to love and take care of themselves, value themselves, nurture themselves. It's energies. And it looks like person B is here as the emperor. This is someone who is all about establishing themselves. You know, the emperor is a very dominant energy. The emperor likes to take charge. The emperor, is, the emperor is typically someone who's very responsible, very wise, well-disciplined. I feel like this is a person who has been, from their current energy that we're picking up, this is someone who has really been prioritizing their security and stability, okay? Um, let's see, tell us more about this Nine of Pentacles. This is someone who I feel... It does make sense that they're in this emperor energy because I feel like this person is single and they may do a lot of things by themselves. So they have to take charge and they have to be very responsible because truly they only have themselves to rely on. So it does make sense. Clarify the nine of pentacles. The six of swords. Wow. Ace of Pentacles. Hmm. Clarify this Ace of Pentacles. Clarify this Ace of Pentacles. Clarify this Ace of Pentacles. Huh. Three of Cups. Queen of Pentacles. Wow. This is someone who I feel is is also um, about to experience a smooth transition, a positive transition in their life. Very similar to this uh, this uh, person A here as well. 
I'm seeing six of swords moving things from rough waters to calmer waters. There's something new. There's something new that this person's about to step into. There's something new here. They're about to receive an Ace of Pentacles, which is amazing. You know, here on this channel, I always say the Ace of Pentacles it's a divine blessing. Aces are, are uh, it's divine intervention. This is the type of blessing, though, that's more so, it may be more of a material, more of a, more of a, like, material abundance, where this may be, like, a promotion, a job opportunity, maybe, like, they, like, a new house, or I feel like it's something more physical or, or tangible, um, you know, the Ace of Pentacles is a blessing of, uh, of of prosperity. When you see the Ace of Pentacles, just know that you're about to experience an increase in some way, shape, or form. You know, it's success. It's rewards. It could even represent money. It's a pentacle. It's a coin. Um, I feel like this is someone who's really enjoying the good life, okay? I see them here, Nine of Pentacles. Money's good, you know. Um, you know, there's a lot of material abundance around them, but I definitely feel here with the Four of Swords, it's like the loneliness is starting to get to them. Um, let me see. The Three of Cups, we clarified the Ace of Pentacles. Three of Cups, it talks about celebration, social gatherings. Um, let me see. Queen of Pentacles is here as well. I feel like there's, like, something's coming in fast. There's a, there's a, this person's about to go through a transition as well. Both parties here are transitioning. Um, what is this about? Tell us more about this Queen of Pentacles. Mm, the Empress almost came out. Tell us about this Queen of Pentacles. happen here with this ace of pentacles tell us more about this ace of pentacles tell us more. let me shuffle better tell us more oops ten of swords oh i see mm, yeah okay it makes sense okay thank you holy spirit this is someone who has experience their transition already but i feel like what happened here is it's almost like i'm seeing someone who got really really successful and everyone started to disappoint them yeah mm -hmm. they have that material abundance they're very well off but i feel like this person doesn't have anyone around I feel like with the Ten of Swords, there there were a lot of harsh, harsh lessons, harsh, painful lessons that they had to learn from their family, family and friends. Maybe even exes. Ten of Wands, yeah, past baggage, burdens. Mm-hmm. Wow. It's almost like the more this person elevated, the more issues they faced in their personal relationships with people it's like yeah three of cups is a big social card like friends and family and yeah and so i i see why i was getting that feeling of loneliness this is someone who is a blood like this person is blessed they have this coin here you know um lots of uh lots of blessings lots of uh material wealth but it's like the way I see this Queen of Pentacles this is someone, Queen of Pentacles is typically someone who's very successful, you know, very stable, grounded, but also very humble and loyal. And she wants to give, he or she wants to give their loyalty to someone, you know, someone who's valuable, just like them. It's really how it looks here. And I feel like, of course, it's person A who's so excited to see them. You know, Four of Cups. Yeah, this person has been feeling... 
Four of Cups is like feeling left out in the cold. But I, I think this is what was going on with person A in their past where they were so unfulfilled by people. It was hard for them to really emotionally connect with people. It was hard for them to build emo emotional bonds and connections, you know? They were just so dissatisfied and, and disinterested in people because perhaps they knew that people were not being genuine to them. Yeah. Perhaps they knew that people were just using them, most likely for their material um, abundance. Yeah, that's what was revealed with the sun. It's like I just heard someone say, I am not to be used. And this brought a major toll on this individual, but it gave them the awakening that they needed to to have, you know, because I feel like this was really family, friends, you know, the people in their close circle that was uh, mistreated them, mistreating them or trying to uh, misuse and abuse them for what they had. I feel like these two people have had their season of being disappointed in people, you know, um, and being disinterested in people. And now they're going to come together and I feel like it's going to be a blast because I feel like these two, you know, it's it's time. It's time for them to go out, have fun, and just live life again, you know. But this time is going to be with each other. Um, so they're going to be companions. This is very nice. So I'm going to end the reading here. I am going to do an extended where we will see what's going to happen next and look into it, get some details on what may happen next between these two um, when they come together. And I feel like six of cups yeah they're definitely going to cross paths again okay so the link to the extended is going to be in the description box all of my extended readings are a dollar so thank you guys so very much please take care and many blessings to you